So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Putty, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. In the last part, we took down some rebels in some ruins and got ourselves a rolling block rifle, the first scoped rifle in the game. Um, in this episode, we're going to continue with DeSanta's quests because, quite frankly, this guy is the most important guy we have a hold of right now, and we need some answers from him, and he's probably the most likely to um, to give us any. So, we're going to head up back up to the villa and uh, have a talk to DeSanta again. Again, there are many different ways to do uh, Red Dead Redemption as a whole. There are quests that unlock other quests, and if I'm not mistaken, aside from the two Bonnie quests, the fire and hanging Bonnie McFarlane, I think every quest in the game is required, except for those two I just mentioned. I, I you know, I think, I'm sorry, if I get it wrong. Um... Maybe the uh, no, I'm pretty sure those two are the only ones, at least that we've encountered so far. You know that there may be some in the third part of the game, West Elizabeth, um, that that I, you know, I haven't researched enough to tell you. But looking at my like research notes for this part of the game, the little list I have, I think all the quests are required. We're going to be doing all the quests anyway because we've so far done every main story quest. And I know there is a point in the game where you cannot do any of the main story quests you have not done. Uh, yeah, again, that's just on the assumption that there are some that you can skip. <laughs> I'm not quite... Uh, maybe you can't skip them anyway. But um, on the assumption that there are some you can skip, um, there is a point where you cannot do them anymore. But after that point, you don't really care anyway, I would assume. This grass animation is so bad. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Alright. Let's just have our leisurely walk. I took a stagecoach here. Cost me $23 to, to go to Escalara from Casa Madrugada. Alright. What? What's wrong? Why'd you go to me and not the army? Come on. No. I've got business to take care of in my elegant suit. Alright. So, the mission we have for you today is called... Mexican Caesar, or Mexican Kaiser, whatever you prefer. Andeles lindas y patrióticas. Dale, que ustedes son putas y lo saben. Por favor, no me hablas. Oh, mi amor, nadie te está obligando a hacer nada. Solamente quiero que animes al hombre que va a salvar a tu padre. ¿Tú quieres a tu padre, cierto que sí, linda? What's going on here, Captain de Santa? Just a little recruitment. Nothing for you to be concerned about. You boys using women soldiers now? Our customs are none of your concern. Apparently not. Santo mariconcito, me encontraste algunas chicas. Ay, mamacita, ¿dónde has estado toda mi vida? Ve, ve, mujeres. Ay, me gusta. It's the Patriots were keen to make your acquaintance, the ah, coronel. Fantastic. I love Patriots. Ah, he's like a Marston. You here to fight the war? And we shall make a Patriot of you yet. I hope so. Any word of those men? Oh, yes. I heard they were riding with Reyes. I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the Santo, uh, hable con él. Tell him what I wanted. Huh? <laughs> His Excellency, El Coronel, would like to employ you in escorting a train down rebel country. The job is dangerous. But you'll have the honor of... <laughs> Another patriot? Of knowing that you said Mexico in her fight against forces that would destroy our society. How much you offer? 20,000 pesos, and information as to the whereabouts of Javier Escuella. Okay, then. Mexico loves you, Mr. Martin. She has a funny way of showing it. <laughs> Hurry! We must go! Very well. Oh, Espinosa, really? The 
But we got dialogue. So it looks like it is me and you again, gringo. And there was me, thinking my dance card was full. What do you mean? You just said it's a pleasure to see such a noble patriot at work. Your sarcasm is childish and pathetic. This is an important assignment. Our orders are to deliver these munitions to Chuparosa. They will help to finally crush the rebels. I hate to break it to you, Captain, but I think you're gonna need a lot more than this. I know. Most of the supplies are already in Chuparosa. We will deliver them all by train to our base camp in Diez Coronas. Our forces are close to establishing control in that region. Why didn't DeSanta come with us? Why do you think? Because he is hardly a soldier. I'm sure he has other important business, like mailing letters and sweeping floors and flirting with barmen. He fought with you Are at you Torquemada. Are you defending that pathetic little Aaron boy? I did not see him fight. Without me, we would have lost the battle. He knows less than nothing on how to lead men. Yet he's the colonel's second in command. That is a good job. You are a funny man, gringo. De Santa licks the colonel's boots and plays with his waiter friend. That is all. I am again this brazo derecho, his right arm. I am one of the few men he respects. Is that right? You and him have something special, do you? The colonel needs a maid, a woman he cannot fuck. De Santa is that woman. <laughs> The battle at Torquemada was hard, but the Soro de Azul, now that was so fun. Am I right, gringo? Fun? Burning people's homes, killing innocent people? That's your idea of fun? When a woman picks up a rifle, and a child picks up a rifle, they become soldiers. Does it seem quiet to you? I don't know. You tell me. We have not seen a single rebel yet. I'd say that's a good thing, wouldn't you? Three bolt action shots. Again, one handing a bolt action. I think that is all of it. Win it, you battle. are so important. Why have we been given so few soldiers? Don't ask me. You're the captain. I thought you were supposed to be fearless. I am fearless, but not brainless. There is something wrong. I feel it. Maybe you just need to take a piss or something. The colonel told me that the Santa had praised my actions at Torquemada and called me a hero. He asked for me to be given this important assignment. Why would he do that? The cabrón hates me! Yeah, but doesn't everybody... More of them! They are above us! Mm. This gun is very good. <laughs> I'm reloaded. Is that our train? Yes, it seems to be on schedule. At least one thing is going right for us. I agree. We ain't off to a good start. You shoot well, Gringo. Tell me something. What is your weapon of choice? What do you mean? Come, my friend. Your belt is full of weapons. 
Which is your favorite for attacking a man? You ain't right in the head, Captain. Do you want to know what mine is? Not particularly. Truth. We are close to Chuparosa now. I still have a bad feeling about this. Tell me, why are you here? What did they promise you? 20,000 pesos in Javier Escuela. That is a lot of promises. Do you know where Escuela is? You think I am going to tell you that before you have fulfilled your obligations? Do not take me for a fool. I've given you no reason not to trust me. You must understand why we are suspicious of you. Most American vigilantes come here to help the rebel. It is strange you have chosen to work for the army. I'm not working for you. How many times do I have to say this? Call it what you want, gringo. We are exchanging favors then. I ain't seen many favors come my way yet. Abraham Reyes is trying hard to recruit gringos to fight for him. His propaganda is everywhere. He promises women, gold, and, of course, you go. Money and the chance to interfere in business that is not your own. How can any American resist? I've done everything you've asked of me. If Belinde doesn't give me a squela in Williamson after this, I think it's best I go ask the rebels directly. Is that the threat? Be warned. You are only alive right now because of me. Here we are at last. Good. Oh, this is the quest I was thinking of where we're on the train. Okay, fair enough. the last of the rebels. You recruits can't win a fight like this. I need you to man the Gatling gun. I ain't the soldier here, Captain. Do not question me, gringo. Just do as I say. Damn it. Why do I have a feeling this isn't a good idea? Can't be that hard. Just point and pull the trigger. Stop shooting! Okay, well it works. We will all be killed. Don't worry, Captain. I've used one of these before. For a cold-hearted killer, you're an anxious son of a bitch, ain't you? We have already been ambushed. Our squad is made up of new recruits and the two men that Santa hates the most. I think it is right to be anxious. Why are you aiming at me? Yeah, well, I wasn't exactly expecting a pleasant picnic by the seaside myself. Okay. So... Why am I on this gun exactly? There doesn't seem to be an ambush. <laughs> am I the Mex... It's the rebels! Okay. Am I the Mexican Caesar? Apparently so. Come on. Oh god, people are dying. People dying. All around. Merry Christmas. Everyone. Ah, uh, poor horses. I have to shoot these horses because it's the easiest way to shoot the actual rebel. Mexican Caesar. For the case I check it. Hello rebels, I'm sorry about this. I know you're just trying to rebel. Quite frankly, you're doing it in a very violent way. And it's just self-defense. Why can I not go into dead eye with the bloody um Gatling gun? Okay, I'll leave him alone. Yeah. Get him off his horse, get you off your horse quickly, I'm gonna shoot you first. Get you off your horse, if I can actually aim, which I can't, because I'm crap. At this game. Uh oh, there you go. Get 
Get off your horses! Oh god, I like this gatling gun. Why did I ever doubt it? Turn, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot. Do you guys know where Javier Esquela is? Because I'll join your side if you do. Although I am sick of bloody doing favors for information, I never seen it before. information can be very easily lied about. Yes, we could get you the information, but it's gonna take a while, you know. So, while you're waiting, you could do some more jobs for us, yeah? Is this the same route that the last train took, except this time we're on it? Game developers, this is the same quest. It's just a little... You're on it, train, instead of defending the train. And the last one was like a decoy train, and this one is actually a train. Uh, uh, an actual decoy train. Oh, they're on the bloody thing. Gun them down, like gun down. What? Apparently so. Just keep shooting. Man, we have a Gatling gun. This is perfect for mowing people down. Going downhill is not now. I'm going to the back. Okay, there you are. Die. I have a Gatling gun. This is not a good idea. Poor rebels. They will, they're not very clever. They? And they're going to die either. Because they're not very clever. Right? Oh my god. Sorry for anybody listening to this video. I realize. It's a very repetitive sound of a gatling gun going off. But, um, hopefully it will be able to mute it. Not mute, but definitely down. Okay. okay, we're going right past Casa Maduga. Want to guard us, right? That's the objective this time. Doesn't look like it. Is it are we going to Chupa Rosa? Because it's. No, because we started at Chupa Rosa. Where are we supposed to be going? Uh, maybe the last place, that place um, in the middle of this Cortaz Diaz region. Like a camp. Yeah, it probably is actually. Now, but that place where we bought a house, remember? Back in episode 25. Whatever it was. Stop shooting the train. Damn, so You're dying. <laughs> You're all dying as soon as you walk past my bullet screen now. Above us! Where? Can't touch this. Doom, 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 doom. Come on. There we go. See? It's all good. It's all good. Like a Mexican rebel. I stand on this train. United. Alright, so it's a slightly different quest. I take it back. Oh, maybe not. It's not that different. I think that's all of it. We do not have far to go. The base camp is just at the top of the hill. That was madness. You did well, compadre. Very well. Whatever I get the promise to in return, you have earned it. I don't think the Santa expected us to come back from this. Did you want to kill him, or should I? No. Until I find a squala, he's more used to me alive. Hmm. Take back what I said about the Santa. Seems like a bit of a dick. Then again, Espinosa kind of seems like a dick as well. Are we the only ones on this damn train? Here we are. Thank God. We are lucky to be alive. Go to the camp. 
The base commander will want to speak to you. Ese debe de ser Marston. Hello. Señor Marston. Thank you for your efforts. The escort was a success. At least some of your men survived. I didn't think to survive myself. My whole life I have dreamed of a glorious death. <laughs> Vamos! Rapido antes uh, que nos ataquen otra vez. These socialist pigs cannot be allowed to win. Alright then. You had him to know available in the stores apparently. Good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be leaving the Santa alone because, as you can see, he doesn't have a quest until later. And I believe. No, don't worry about that. He only has one quest left, actually, the Santa. And um, you can't do it yet. I don't quite know when we can do it, but we're not going to be um, going after the rebels quite yet because we have one last quest to do for Landon Ricketts. Um, so we're going to check that out. We're going to go back to Chupa Rosa, which is probably just down this path, and uh, we are going to check out Landon Ricketts' final quest for us and say goodbye to our decent enough friend. Alright, thanks for watching the video once again. Thank you for watching all my videos. If uh, you enjoyed this episode and haven't seen the rest of the series, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, so the playlist will be on my channel. And uh, you, probably a few of the videos from the playlist will be in my related videos to the right. Once again, thank you for watching the video. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Red Dead Redemption. See you guys then.